I want to know more about the wet board, but hey, we got to move the on. The wet board, yeah. <laughs> and the first kickflip. And I mean, yeah. let's put it this way. When he first did kickflips, we didn't understand how his board flipped. So we called it the magic flip. <laughs> yes. That's what the original name was. Oh, it was. Yeah. yeah. Because kickflips were when you, you, you get your board under your, you get your foot under your board and you manually flip the board. That was a kickflip. Yes, I that remember That was those. the original yeah, kickflip. Yeah, yeah. And then he did what became known as the Ollie flip. But we didn't know what the hell he did it. So we called the magic flip. Do you remember the first time you did it? Oh, yeah. 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 On the farm? Yeah, outside. In the, yeah, in the driveway. Yeah, I remember everything about that. It's what's funny your, how little things. What's your farm flat ground area that you were riding? Did yeah, you- good, good question. So, you know, uh, my dad developed the land. My dad's successful. And uh, and so he bought a bunch of land. And uh, so he built the roads. Well, had people built it, but he definitely helped. And we all did. And and out in that, outside of that, it's your own driveway. And there's three-car garage. So that's where we moved. I had nothing else to stay in the garage. And then we later got better asphalt to it because there's nothing but grass and dirt roads, right? Did you put the better asphalt on there f- for you, or uh, it was- you know, he, no, he did that for the cars eventually. Okay, but 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 it was, or I would say it was there. But whatever the case, it felt layered because I know I started in the garage, and then um, later on when things started to come, uh, <laughs> he had a barn. We had a barn. It was you know, fifty yards from the house, whatever. And I remember he put cement in there for me, and to me that was like a real like. Hey, thumbs up. You know what I yeah. mean? So he definitely supported me in that way. Yeah. So I ended up skating there. But um, anyway, so I did it right outside the garage. Yeah, and then the garage. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. you're all alone. You, you're trying to figure out how to flip your board after an ollie. You flip it. You land it. It was, you know what Is I there, mean? It, but I want to, like, did birds start singing? <laughs> the clouds part? Or did you no. go, that was cool? Yeah, did you know that you had something? It, it was like my board mocked me. No, I just, you know, I was ollies because I had like the mechanics of ollies. You know, I was one day at dawn me, I was like, uh, jump, stupid. And then, oh, you can do an ollie. And then I remember doing that. You know, it's like learning ollies where you get it a little wrong, comes up between your legs, right? And you spaz out, right? Because you don't know. And I remember in so doing, when I flung my foot, it caught the edge and my board flipped. And I'm watching it flip and land right on its wheels in front of me. It's like yeah. it's mocking me, you know? <laughs> I was too stupid to figure that out. And when it did, I was like registered. I'm like, oh my goodness. It's mocking me. Fuck. And uh, and so it took you know I mean because we all have control at that level, just like you, right? You pick up something, you can you can do it within a couple hours or whatever it was. But when you when you did it, it was like oh that was cool. Ah, uh, you know what? I would ask you these questions like those some of those early tricks, like when you do it. Yeah, but I had I I, I had validation in that I had other people that I was skating with, oh, yeah. and and people were doing vert. No one was was even approaching the things you were doing. You're doing it alone in a barn. And so I'm wondering if you knew that there was some, some spark there of you, that. You, know, you felt like something was there. You know, Tony, thank you. Because you felt it was worthwhile, not just for you. And this is, this is, this sounds silly, but yeah, on the farm, I would come over here, K-Rock, K-Rock. I would, uh, to make tapes, K-Rock, right? Because I'm going back there and out here I'm with you. Oh, K Rock, the, the K-Rock, FM. The, the radio yeah, station, yeah, right? Yeah. So that was like to me representing California, all the stuff is Oingo Boingo days, whatever, 80s. And uh I would tape all that stuff. And it was like going back and holding my breath and just skating and doing that. To your point, there's nothing there. You know you're doing something that's kind of cool, because you know at that level we're getting pretty good. And I remember first kick flip, first whatever series of tricks that I know, like this could have ramifications, you know? And, uh, but there's no one to tell. You just feel that lighten up. And in that moment, and here's where I go back to you, Tony. And I mean, I can make a broader of what is respect and fame, right? Is because there's a spectrum, there's a gradation that's kind of spooky, scary and insidious. The spectrum between respect and fame. And it's respect of peers. What I bottled up in me at that time is I get to call Stacy, and in a matter of months or a year or whatever it is, yes, I have the gratification of doing what you, doing, making 
all that you can of the gifts and everything that's been given to you, right? You only have so much time to do that. Go. Uh, but once you're in with a bunch of people, like a very small group that gets it, like, like you, like, believe me, I, I can't begin to tell you how much you were a lifeline to me when I was over there for six months, a year at a time. Then I would think of being at Del Mar, being there where I would get to think, then I'll be like showing kickflips to them, to Tony. That connection, that is, that kept me going and striving. It was like bottled up inside, you know? So how did I feel? Were birds singing? Nah, it was just this like, oh, I'm going to make this better. And when I go back out, like, it'll make me feel that much more connected with my peers that have yep. taken us a lifelong of connectedness. You know what I mean? Yep. So that's what's building, you know? That's what it was. Well, we are thankful you did it. And we're thankful you shared it with us. You're an inspirational bastard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Rodney. Thank you, Tony. It's an Thank honor. You. Thank you. If you don't like that, I, I don't know. Maybe check out Joe Rogan Experience because that was fucking amazing. You're the best, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. See you next week, everybody. Right on. Thank you.